In situation whereby a woman has been diagnosed with fallopian blockage or tubo blockage, it's going to mean that the sperms and the eggs are not going to meet. That means it's not, fertilization will not happen. That means a woman will not conceive. That means she's not going to get pregnant. Hey, what's up everybody? Again, this is Dr. John Jaggi and today we'll be answering one question um, that, you know, been sent to us in regard to laparoscopy and women's health. All right, the question here, this is from, I'm not going to mention the name and this is the question. Hey, Dr. John Jaggi, my name is, all right, and I've been trying to conceive for the last five years and I went to a gynecologist, I had a test to check the fallopian tube, that is hysterosalpingogram, or they call it HSG, and the diagnosis was fallopian tube blockage. Is there anything I can ban it laparoscopically? All right, so let me discuss a little bit about what tubal blockage means a little bit of anatomy and fertility. So this is what happens. Every month, a woman, when, they, when, when she gets her cyclic menses, there's going to be ovulation around the day 14th, which most of us know that. And if a woman has sexual intercourse around this date, there's going to be sperms that are going to travel through the cervix into the uterus, through the fallopian tube. And after ovulation, there's going to be that ovulated egg that, you know, uh, accesses the fallopian tube and then fertilization will happen of course the woman will get pregnant after that you know there's another process that happens there after and happily ever after now in situation whereby a woman has been diagnosed with fallopian blockage or tubo blockage is going to mean that the sperms and the eggs are not going to meet that means it's not fertilization will not happen that means a woman will not conceive that means she's not going to get pregnant and we have seen that most women who present with delayed fertility or inability to get pregnant uh, most of them has a diagnosis of tubal blockage and we now know that the commonest cause of tubal blockage is infection and there's mostly PID infection uh, that's a topic for another day uh, in situation where you have tubal blockage that means um, natural conception will not take place so what options does the patient have these are the two options number one a surgeon can attempt to open the fallopian tubes a procedure called tuboplasty and if this is not successful that means this patient can only conceive through IVF and um, um, this mostly is done by the fertility specialist. Now, just to answer the question, is a patient can benefit from laparoscopy? The answer is yes, but then again, this is not always um, uh, a 100% uh, success. So the following will, you know, when, when um, the surgeon is going to determine if they're going to perform surgery, these are the following things that need to put in consideration. Where is the blockage? Is the blockage close to the uterus or is the blockage far from the uterus? There's a reason for this. The reason is because the further the blockage is from the uterus, that means the, um, uh, the fallopian tube is wider. So it's easy to access and it's easy to open. If the blockage is close to the uterus, which is again sometimes considered as a corner blockage, that becomes very difficult. It doesn't mean it cannot be done, but becomes a bit difficult because the fallopian tube is very narrow and accessing that location of blockage becomes very difficult. So again, what does happen? We are going to, um, the recommendation is to have that surgery laparoscopically, whereby if the blockage is at the end of the fallopian tube, we're going to see if we can make an incision, open up, 
and um, we are going to do a test which we call a dye test doctors will call it chromoperturbation and if the dye flows from the cervix to the uterus the fallopian tube is a confirmation that that tube is patent or it's open but be very careful it does not mean that that tube is functional there's other small um uh microscopic element of the fallopian tube how does the egg get to move uh that also if it's not affected and we see that most infection especially sexually transmitted infection get to affect the function aspect of the fallopian tube so what is the take-home message if you have tubal blockage yes the answer is surgery can be an option for you, but it's not always 100% um, guarantee that fallopian tubes are going to open. And if they if they are open, it does not mean they're going to function. But it's a cheaper option than IVF, so it might be an option that most would want to um, um, to consider. Um, if then that does not work, that would mean that the patient, in terms of conception, they will benefit from IVF. I hope the question has been answered and keep sending your question. We'll try to answer what questions that you have. And thank you so much for keeping watching our YouTube channel. And until next time, please stay safe as we always say.